It's a very, very scary but true story. It was one time of a few merchants traveling from uh, city to city, and on their way home, they passed by a um, the woods. And all of a sudden, from the woods, they hear screaming. And they go through the woods, and they see a house. And they hear a screaming of two women, an older woman and a little kid coming out of this house. By the way, this story may give you nightmares. So if you're scared, this is the part you might want to put mute. It's a true story. So the merchants go and look into the house and they see something unnatural. They see an older woman, who apparently is the mother, next to her young little girl. Maybe six, seven, eight years old. And the mom, and they're both next to a bathtub, but the bathtub has boiling hot water where you see the bubbles and the smoke coming out of it. And the mom digs her hand into the water and takes out clothes, burning her hands, making blood come out of her hands, that's how hot it is. And takes out the clothes and puts it on the daughter. Burning the daughter's skin. And both of them are screaming at the same time and she continues doing this over and over again. Is like a never-ending supply of clothes in this bathtub and she keeps doing it and the people got so damaged by it mentally they ran away they went to their Rav they ran away back to their city which was close by and they went to their Rav which was a big Mekubal a real Mekubal not like today's people that call themselves Mekubalim and Rav says, what, you just left her there? Let's go get it. Let's go, go save this kid. They go. There's no house. There's no kid. There's no mom. There's nothing. It's gone. Matter of hours later, it's all gone. There's nothing. There's no sign it ever existed. There's no, more than one person. There's a handful of people that saw this. So the rabbi made a special prayer asking for Hashem for an answer, went to sleep and he got the answer in, his, uh, in a dream and one of the sages that came to his dream says yes, those uh, merchant received the schut to see what happens in Shemaim as a punishment to a mother who does not dress her daughter modestly this is what she has to do in Gehenom Not my story. It's a book published, very, very famous book, Avat Chaim. So now, we know what modesty is. We know what we need to do. 